All right, so now that you got him all soaked up and combed in and all the poop kind of pulled off of his legs and under his belly and stuff, uh, now it's time to wash him, get all the soap out. Otherwise, he's gonna be left with more dandruff and everything like that, just no different than your hair. Um, so when we wash, I like to set it so that it's a kind of pressurized mess, um, which is why it's so nice to have, you need to have a nozzle of some kind on your hose. Um, I kind of always start under their tail, on their butt, to really get all that poop off and out. Because otherwise, when you work ahead, if they swish their tail, it's going to be covering the rest of their clean body with poop, right? So, I get right in there with a hat and clean them off. Um, kind of like with everything else, you're going ahead. You're, like, if you look at my hose, it's pointing ahead. I'm blowing that water ahead, pushing that water ahead. Um, and I like to start all the way at the butt up top and push it forward and move my hose down so that it follows my water. I'm pushing the water and the soap out of the body but the hair still going ahead. You gotta get the inside of the leg really everywhere. And so if you're using a bucket, it's really gonna be important that you're washing this out real good up here, because that's gonna be real concentrated with soap. Um, yeah, you're gonna go ahead and really make sure you get all the dirt and the soap out. I like to use cold water about this time of year. Um, that's pretty important. Mostly because right now they're kind of wanting to lose their hair. And so if you want to keep any of it, if you had a live show coming up, it would be real important to be using pretty cold water. If it's chillier out, you need to use kind of lukewarm. But there's really nothing that goes better into growing hair or training hair than cold water and elbow grease. Um, and so now that I'm getting up around his head, it's really kind of important here that you find a good setting that's not real pressurized. So I have two nozzles on this for that. Um, if you don't, you just have the one. I like to go down to like this. And same thing as before. I'll grab his ear, and maybe that's not enough pressure. But grab his ear to make sure no water goes in it. And I started this pull and kind of work my way down make sure that that's as clean as can be. So I'll do that on both sides. Um, so you can see this side is, is pretty clean now. He missed it under his belly, so a little bit. So I'll go under there, really clean that off all the way up to the front. Really just making sure that, well, especially the first one, making sure that animal is real, real clean. Now that he's done and all washed out uh, both sides and his head you're gonna take your comb and before you blow them out and dry them out I like to comb them ahead same thing as like when we first started um, and the reason I do that is because when you're gonna be blowing it ahead it's gonna be easier to get all that water out from on like right against the skin all the way out so they're bone dry if the hairs already started going and been parted so that you can really push the water out and along with the hair instead of working against it and into the knots and everything like that. So it's really actually gonna save you time. And I I go all the way down these legs, everything like that, everything's going ahead and up. Uh, as you can see, he's uh, he's pretty quiet, so it's pretty easy for me and your steers maybe might not be quiet this first time and that's okay. You don't have to necessarily worry about the legs until he is, they are real good and quiet. Um, but it's just an added thing. So now that we'll, we'll do that all the way along, you can see this top line, same thing as before. I go a little more straight ahead than up and forward this time, mainly because it's just to blow it out a little better. Um, but that's again, like I said, said earlier with the other stuff, 
personal preference. And the other thing with doing this is if it takes you a while to do this first side, right, because you're not maybe used to blowing cattle out or anything like that, um, your other side, when you do it to that, is already going to be kind of started getting trained in a way you kind of want as it's drying. Um, so that's pretty, pretty important. And uh, one other thing I like to do uh, when I'm washing my cattle, especially ones for bigger shows, is I start to train the tail head hair right off the bat. And this is uh, just kind of personal preference. It's going to take, if you're into doing this, a little bit of practice to kind of figure out where your steer's tail head really sits. Um, for this guy, you know, it's kind of along here because he, he's got a piece in his hip here where he tips forward and so I kind of like to go like this so that it's easier for me to build that up eventually because it's trained so that I can clip it out and it's going to be kind of a gradual uh, angle here all the way down from that hip and I'll do that on both sides of the animal That's a pretty big tail head, but it's just kind of to give me a, a rough idea of how I want this animal hair to kind of be trained. And it just kind of starts all right there from the get-go. So as you can kind of see, it don't, don't look like much now, but when it comes time to grooming, Clipping these animals, that's going to be a huge help. Okay, and so we'll take that and comb it ahead now that we kind of got our part. And then we'll start blowing. And when you blow, it's, it's the same thing as last time two blowers, and you're going to start at the back and push ahead. And you'll kind of see my technique. test it but if you I like to always go like this and pet it you can feel if it's damp and so I can feel that yeah he's a little damp right here still he's a little damp right there this is pretty good this is real dry but then I kind of know where my problem areas are another thing that I like to do I didn't really do it then but as you're blowing if you're putting your hand not right in front because otherwise it directs the water spray back into the body. But if you put your hand a little bit ahead of the blower, you can feel when the water moisture stops hitting your hand. And that means that, you know, he's fairly dry because you want him to be real, real dry so that their hair's nice and easy to work with, to comb, and then it's trained. Like it's going to set like that, you know? So I'm going to finish blowing him off. Um, that's about it for him. If you guys need any tips or anything like that for clipping um just let me know and we can do another one of these but more for uh clipping your steers out or your heifers out and it's a little different technique between the two but it's with a little bit of practice it's pretty easy so thanks a lot and you guys best of luck best of wishes with selling your steers in the future and uh yeah hopefully you guys
enjoy working on cattle as much as I do.